So here's a new lens right here for uh, the Sony Sony mount. So hi, so who are you? Hi, my name's John, and this is the Lauer 10 to 18 mm f4.5 to 5.6, designed specifically for E-mount cameras. So um, is this the the widest and smallest in the world? That's correct. Yes, there is uh, the Voigtlander 10 mm f5.6. Um, but that is just 10 mil. This is a zoom and it goes from f4.5 all the way down to f22 and you can zoom it out, zoom it in, sorry, to 18 mil. So it's a very wide zoom? Yes. It's all manual? All manual. There's no electronic contacts either, so there's no exit data. Um, stabilization on the Sony cameras with IBIS has to be put input manually or just turned off. It has to be put manually? Yes, in the, through the menu. Through the menu, yeah. And uh, uh, so what's the special thing about Lauer? Um, Lauer, we like to create lenses that are unique. Other ones that other manufacturers don't have, if they do have them, we like to make it a little bit different. So, like uh, better manual controls or what? Well, features that they don't offer. So, this lens actually has a 37mm filter thread in the rear of the lens. And that's located just there. You can screw on ND filters. You can just screw on ND filters? Yeah, 37mm. Wow. Uh, anything else you can screw on there? Or? Um, uh, well, um, you could put polarizers on, but it would be difficult to to be able to turn, obviously, because it's internal. And the designers are currently making a 100mm filter system. So square filters, which are 100mm width, 100mm length, will work perfectly fine with this. So what's the price? Price point, we're not too sure just yet, but um, we're thinking about the $700, $800 area. All right. And uh, you also have another one over here. This is uh, uh, world's first, what is this? 2-1 micro telephoto lens? So this is the 100mm macro. Now, there are a lot of 100mm macros out there, Canon, Nikon, Sony, um, but this features a two to one magnification ratio, which is a world's first. It still has infinity, so it goes all the way down to two to one. So what does that mean? That means twice the size of a life-size image. So one to one is life-size, which is what traditional macro lenses offer. But here you can go double and get twice the size of that. Twice the size of uh, everything that's in front yeah, of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, 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 so uh, what's the price on this one? Um, again, pricing is not confirmed. However, it's going to be in the region of $500. So, um, Lawa, are you some of the best in doing uh, manual kind of lenses that are good for macro? What kind of other stuff? Um, yeah, we well, we do obviously one of our strong points is macro photography. We've got a 15mm one-to-one macro, which was one of the first lenses that we released. It's been incredibly popular. The 60mm macro was the first macro lens that we released. It was the first lens that we released. And that was, again, very popular because it offers a two-to-one magnification ratio, just like the 100. And uh, so with that, people are taking pictures of uh, insects? Yes, insects, amphibians, reptiles, you name it. I mean, it can, they can be done with anything, basically. Nice. Can we look around over here? Um, so uh, what, what is this? So this is our cinema lens zoom. It's a 20... It, it's a... Uh, yes, it's a cinema lens, um, par focal, no, virtually yeah. no chromatic calibrations, and it's constant T2.9. 
The thing with this lens is, um, all the optics have been designed specifically for this lens. It's a 25 to 100 mil, and unlike several cinema lenses which have recently been released, they are photographic lenses rehoused with all the gearing and stuff. But this one has been designed from the ground up to be a cinema lens. And uh, what's the camera used here? Uh, this is the new Kinefinity. We've just got it on loan at the moment. <laughs> all right. Is there a price on this? Um, again, pricing is to be confirmed as it's a pre-production model, but um, it's looking at around 10,000. And uh, uh, so uh, Laowa is a Chinese company? Yes, that's right. They're based in Hong Kong. And doing uh, all the R&D, uh, advanced R&D lenses? Yes, yeah. But no cameras? No cameras. Not um, yet? Not yet. <laughs> Maybe in the future. What could be, uh, what could be the, uh, the, okay, uh, it's a weird question, but what could be the Lawa camera? Something that's, that's, not, that's missing in market, maybe? Possibly, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if there will be a camera. The next thing I know that Lawa are concentrating on are building in electronics. So we do want to offer um, electronics for EXIF data. I forgot to mention the 100mm is the first one with contacts, electronic contacts. So it does have electronics inside. But you never do my, uh, you never do autofocus? No, not yet. But that is something that they are working on. And uh, what is this one here? Um, so this is the 7.5mm F2. It's a micro four thirds lens. Got it here mounted on a micro four thirds cinema camera. So it's right here. Do you have any other micro four thirds? Uh, yes, we do. Um, we've got this one over here. This is the 12mm f1.8. This is also a new lens. Also very, very, very small. Yes. Any price on that? Um, probably around the $500 mark. Same as the 75 mm and uh, anything you can say about the quality of uh, Laowa? Um, the build quality is phenomenal. For me, manual focus lenses, I do not mind. I know a lot of people hate manual focus, but it's all metal. There's no plastic involved. There's only glass and metal, and it is smooth. Smooth, quality, yes. high quality? High quality. Uh, high, uh, no issues? No like, issues. Uh, uh, no. What's called a uh, 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 like people don't return their lenses or anything like that. It's, it's not that I know of. Well, my my lenses that I own personally, I've not had any issues. There's no been no movement or or anything like that. And if there's a need for any service, then it has to go back to China, or you have offices in Europe. Um, we have a, an office in the UK, um, which we send it to if there is an issue. Uh, I'm not too sure about the rest of the world.